So what's amazing is that everything that's in this box right here will record all the earthquakes that we would expect to have in the Bay Area. So everything from less than a magnitude one, stuff that you just can't even feel, all the way up to the largest earthquakes that we would expect to have in the Bay Area, magnitude seven and above. Hi, welcome to the Snow Regional Wilderness, part of the East Bay Regional Parks. I'm Dave Croker. I'm a seismologist at the U.S. Geological Survey. And we're out here today to show you the Shake Alert seismic instrumentation. We're gonna actually show you us installing the sensor seismic sensors in the ground. I'm glad you're with us and let's show you what it's all about. So what we have here is the actual uh, data logger. So the sensors plug into this, this instrument here. A couple of weeks ago, we had a contractor out here to build the station for us. And so the, the box went in, poured concrete slab in the bottom that the sensors get attached to. Here we have the two sensors uh, that we're going to be installing. That's called an accelerometer. Uh, measures the acceleration of ground motion. Other sensor we put in here, it's actually I'm holding it upside down, it goes this way. And this is a, a velocity sensor. It only has one component in it. It only measures up down ground motion. What the sensors do really is just give us a historic record of earthquakes in California. It also gives us insight into where the faults are. And it's looking pretty good. We continually update as more data from more stations come in. And so that's why you see updates and change in magnitudes and intensity and that sort of thing. So this cap here will go into our sensor. The signal will go into the data logger. There we go. Gets analyzed by a bunch of computers first. As the waves have progressed through the Bay Area, they hit more and more of our stations, and so we can get a better location and magnitude for the earthquake. The data from uh, these sensors is what contribute to the shake alert system. Okay, so with the sensors in place, uh, we're checking the voltage coming from the batteries, making sure it's uh, correct, that looks good. Seismically speaking, this is an excellent location. We, we don't have any trees. It's just away from where people are and everything. And we're right on top of bedrock. And so the sensors we have here are, are either on or really close to bedrock. So they're, they're really stable. So having the seismograph station here, it really is the end result of a lot of effort behind the scenes from a lot of people from choosing the location to permitting with the land agency to getting the environmental work done so that we can install it here. All the contracting, all the accounting. There's a lot of work that goes into these few minutes of us installing the sensors and getting it on the air to record earthquakes.